going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. Today is a ministry show. We will be praying and ministering to the viewers and who knows, prophesying. Sometimes God takes it a different direction, but um, it's a ministry show. And so no topic really, unless God moves it that direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm Sharon McMurray and you're God's view host. Mm -hmm. Please call those prayer lines as we're going through the program. It's always here behind my head and periodically across the bottom of the screen. 307-637-PRAY. You're anonymous and don't go through mm -hmm. things alone. You know, uh, great answers on those prayer lines. Be one of them. You know, some are very broken, and I, I understand. I get to where sometimes you don't want to call anybody because it's so private and it's so hurtful and it's so painful, and you don't just even want to tell somebody. But right. the thing is, we don't know you from Adam, you don't know us, and, and it, that helps. It mm -hmm. helps that you're anonymous, okay? This is Stacy White. She's still sitting in co host. We are so grateful. She's done a great job on all the shows. We mm -hmm. have Priscilla Pruitt and Lana Garner. <laughs> yes. And we felt a little animal going on yes. today. <laughs> and so anyways, we all got some animal. I had so much animal, I didn't know what to wear. Uh, I really did. I, I had much. so <laughs> much that I didn't know what to wear. So anyways, How fun. but we've got, mm. we've got, um, you know, that that animal in us today. Yeah. Yeah. And we did a good deed for an animal today <coughs> together. Right. We yeah. did. We yes. released a skunk. We released a yes. skunk. And we <laughs> did video skunk. of it and put it, it on really social cute. media. Yes, follow God's yeah. view. So, yeah. So. Anyways, God is good. God's faithful. And he's got plans and dreams and visions for you. And uh, I'll tell you, we, we're just going to go with the flow here. And uh, right now, does anybody have anything? Well, I was thinking, God, why do you have us wearing animal print? And I was just asking the Lord. And um, what came to me, and I, I, I truly believe it's the Holy Spirit speaking to me, um, is that there are a lot of, there's a lot of confusion right now where kids are actually believing that they're animals. Oh. Have you heard of this? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And they're believing that they're cats <coughs> or their dogs or this, and they're installing, you know, litter boxes in schools for them to use the restroom. It's getting what? so out it's there. It's getting out there, and so God wants us there. to, I'm just going to take authority that we're wearing this animal print, mm -hmm. and hey, you know, I'm taking authority <clears throat> over that demonic spirit that's oh. pressuring bestiality, Nick. that's pressuring kids mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to believe mm -hmm. that they're animals, and I just come against it right now. If you're a parent, play your hands on the screen and just pray, I'm in agreement with you. I'm we're in agreement with you right now in the name of Jesus that I come against that spirit of now. confusion. Yeah. In the name Jesus of Jesus, name. I come against that spirit of, of sexual, um, just... Uh, perversion in the yes. name of Jesus is bestiality yeah. mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. We come against yes. it. God oh. calls that. He does not like that. He, oh my gosh. Woo. He Yuck. just, he comes against it right now. That is wickedness right now. Trying to come against your children. We break it free. We break it off your family. We break it off your lineage. Lineage. We break it off your children. Yes. We break it off right now in the name of Jesus. We pray that they wake up, that their eyes would be open, that the truth would set them free in the name of Jesus. That they would have someone coming and speaking life into them, speaking, speaking truth to them. That their eyes would be open to the truth and that they would see the trueness of who they were made to be. That they were made in the likeness of God. Yes, that they so have a, a reason that they were made, that they were put in this earth for such a time as this, that they have a reason that they're placed in this earth, and that the enemy is just trying to steal, kill, and destroy from them. So right now, in the name of Amen. Jesus, we are in agreement, Jesus and we break name. free of that spirit, you Jesus. and your family, your yes. children, whoever it is, in Jesus' name. In Jesus. name. And you know, um, God did not make you an animal. He made your That's right. children, children. Yeah. And, and this is wild. I just seen a lady on one of these Instagrams or something mm -hmm. popped up and she was just so indignant because mm -hmm. her son had to go to the bathroom because he identifies as a cat. I know exactly what you're meaning. Oh it's all gosh. over. It's all over social media. Oh, yeah. It's so the craziest sad. thing. See, in these last days, people mm -hmm. will get crazy. They give heed to doctrines of demons, false teachings, mm -hmm. and distant yeah. spirits, and leave what is sanity. Yes. And God what gave is, us yeah. dominion over yes. the animals. That's we right. have dominion. We yeah. are not equal with them. God did not make us all. equal yeah. with That's them. Right. Adam was placed to name them because yes. he was above them. Mm -hmm. And right. so we're placing yeah. ourselves and down And did you see the levels. one that is literally a man? He's on all four legs. He had hair put all over. He looks just yeah. like a dog. A collie. Oh. A collie. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. Anyways, I have some. He I had just hair put on. Oh yeah, he and he acts like a dog, eats like a dog, walks like a dog, looks just like a dog. He had all this stuff put on him. Yeah, it's like a suit he wears. It, 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 it's going on, Lana. It's terrible. Yeah, but we come against but that anyways, in the name of Jesus. But anyways, we come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, we all learn things on these shows, don't we? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's I going, should what? Want to learn that. Yes. Well, and I learned it, things they're too. They're called furries. I, that's right. They're yeah. called furries. So I've heard that. We come against furries in the, right. name, in the of name, Jesus. name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We pull that yes, down spirit. in the mighty name yes. of Jesus. We break it off, that yes. stronghold yes. off of your children. Yes. In, in the, the mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. That's a demonic thought. You a are demonic, a child of the uh, living God. Yeah, manifestation. Yes. There is no mm -hmm. way in Jesus' mighty name. Yes. That's right. And so what I was getting in the spirit, I, I, I kept <clears> seeing um, this fault-finding thing. And so... In Jude, it says, um, in Jude's only one chapter, you know, and it's 116. These people are grumblers and fault finders. They follow their own evil desires. They boast about themselves and flatter others for their own advantage. Mm. And I, I was seeing that because um, I was seeing all these demon fault finders. And, and the thing is, is a lot of times the enemy will come and and it even operates on us if we're not privy and think those demon fault finders will start mocking us and we'll start feeling like what you know you you can feel lesser than you can yeah. feel awful you can feel you know or those demon fault finders use just like in jude against each other they mm -hmm. found fault in everybody it said mm -hmm. they were grumbling and complaining it says about everybody mm -hmm. that and they boast about themselves and we are seeing so much of this right now and just you know just check yourself. Uh, God is saying, just check yourself. Check your heart, okay? You know, there's there's a thermometer from heaven, and all we have to do, that thermometer will give the degree of our humility when we just say, God, is there anything? You know, like maybe before you go to bed one night, was there anything today that, that displeased you? Is there something in me that I need yes. to get help with? Because believe me, I need to help with a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. When you're a person that's called and bold and kind of in people's faces, you know. We were talking about that yesterday, yes. Stacy and I, that we're not, we don't have the gift of gab. Mm -hmm. You know, people used to say that and God said, don't receive that, you have the gift to preach. Because, right. you know, when you talk a lot or when you, because you're called, when you're, when you're a preacher or when you're, you know, and we were talking about, we said, yes. no, we have the gift to preach, That's not right. the gift of gab. That's right. we, we talk a lot because, but, and you know, you'll notice in different things, it doesn't matter, or somebody will say, somebody will say, you know, gosh, she just don't talk enough, or she's too quiet. Well, those are fault finding. Mm. That's right. Because we all are different. That's We're right. We're all yes, different. we are. And if that's happening to you right now, just check yourself and, and see, is there anything that you can do to help that situation? Is there anything that, that you are acting out of that you can repent for? Um, because demon fault finding works both ways. It'll work on you to condemn you, to make you feel useless, to make you feel lesser than, to make you compare with others, or it'll cause you to start demon fault finding mm -hmm. in a friend or in a church or That's right. whatever it is. Yes. And, and anytime we talk on this show, let me say this right now, we talk a lot about issues like whether it's in the church or whether it's this or that, but there's always another side that we bless the church too, okay? Mm -hmm. We are the church. Amen. Okay, we bless yes. pastors. We bless what's going on. We are not against them. That's we are right. just bringing to light like Paul did. Paul always yes. taught them bringing the light. That's right. The, the disorder in the church, the this thing, that thing, witchcraft. He was mm -hmm. always bringing uh, order. And you know what? Nobody found that strange then, but sometimes if you say something on a show, they'll go, oh, but yeah. Paul did the same thing. <laughs> you know, you have to bring things to light and bring awareness. And so what we're bringing, what the Holy Spirit is bringing right now is awareness. Mm -hmm. So if there's been any demon fault finding, just rebuke that thing. Mm -hmm. We cancel yes. its assignment against you in the mighty name of Jesus, against yes. anybody up here too, mm -hmm. against right. the bride of Christ. Yes. We cancel yes. demon fault finding right now, complaining, mm -hmm. never satisfying, finding fault with anyone and everything we rebuke it we cancel its assignment against the bride of christ yeah. in the yes. mighty name yes. of jesus right now yeah. Yeah. In the name of you jesus. know it's so funny the way the lord works yeah. Uh, yeah. I, now i have something about yeah Paul because God, yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah well because that's what he does he yeah for an anointing and then, he yeah. does praise god i yeah. see a woman uh older woman whose husband drinks and I'm so sorry that you're going through that because that's miserable. Yeah. It must be miserable yeah. to live with someone 
who's under that influence because what they're really doing is opening the door to demons. So it's got to be rough on you. And in Jesus' name, I rebuke that spirit of alcohol and Amen. stand Amen. with you with and you. call peace for your heart. However, you are telling everyone that your husband has this problem. You, oh, no. That's not right. You are giving power to the alcohol, yeah, right. to that demon that's behind that alcohol. God tells us to call things that are not as though they are. That's right. So when you speak and say, just see the best in your husband. I know that there are things that he does initially when you married him, you saw good attributes about him. Tell him those good attributes. And you know, it's funny how that works. Mm -hmm. the, the more good, <laughs> I just thought of a funny incident. I was, I was at the beach with my husband that passed away a long time ago. And uh, he, he had a ball. And he's just kind of throwing the ball a little bit like this. And we're all talking, there's four of us talking, and he's throwing the ball. And I don't know why I said it, but I said, look at this man, how he's able to throw a ball. I said it as a joke. He started throwing the ball way up, showing everyone oh. how great a ball throw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it's amazing. Oh, it's Everybody yeah. wants a compliment. Yeah. And praise. your husband, I just feel like right now, even though he's wrong, I, I'm sorry, but he needs to be lifted up. He feels yes. yeah. like a failure. And uh, I just want to encourage you. I know it's hard, but yeah. I know you can do it because That's good. you love Jesus. Yeah, and you know what reminded me? You know Paul Youngy Cho, which I never listened to the guy. I just heard a lot about him, a great mm -hmm. man of God. And uh, I'm going to read that book. Good. And, uh, and the thing is, is he would that I seen the one time I ever seen the guy. Uh. And I don't know. If it was video or what happened, how I seen him. And he was saying, uh, uh, everybody say things, I don't care, I want wife praise me. Say oh. I did, say I did good job. Yeah. Oh, I said I did. Yeah. So Isn't you, that true? Yes. And so when you praised your yeah. husband, it was like, he's going to show off like a monkey in a cage. Now. <laughs> he's going to, you know, he's going to, you know, and get going. Mm -hmm. Because praise yeah. does that. It does. It that. does it with children. God brings us up oh, for a reason. Oh, you're going to love what God's I giving hear me. things in the store that mm -hmm. just appall me oh. all the time. Please, God, you know, listen, it's the Lord. Be kind to your kids. Yeah. But quit calling them stupid oh, and, yes. right. and all these things because they're not, and, and it's just so hard on them. When I hear things like that in the store, I really just want to jump oh, right yeah. in. Oh, I have to so mind my own business. Yeah. And, and you fathers out there, you know what? I don't care how your kids act up in a store or whatever. I was in the store, and I want to tell you this story, and I know many of you have done it, or God would not be having me have this story right now. And I was checking out, and believe me, it took everything in me not to walk over there and shake that man and say, mm -hmm. how dare you? Because this little boy was being so obedient. Listen, he was not grabbing candy. He was not doing anything. Yeah. He, was not, he was standing there like mm -hmm. the best little boy, and the dad's doing out. And he looks up at that father, and he says, Daddy, he said, I tried my best. And that dad, so angry, said, well, your best was good enough. Oh, yeah, that's so oh, sad. And oh. this is what's going on, and I hear it all the time in the yeah, stores. I do too. Oh. And if you are doing it, stop it. Yeah. Oh, the Lord says, stop right. it, mm -hmm. because you are held accountable. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's the right. Lord just told me, um, well, I've been writing what he's been saying, but he said, pray for teachers. He wants mm -hmm. me to pray for teachers. And I'm like, Lord, what do you want me to pray? And he just downloaded. So I just mm -hmm. want to pray this almost verbatim okay. to what the Lord said. Okay. But Lord, I just pray right now that yes. you would give our teachers, Father, yes. give them yes. patience and wisdom, Lord. Help them to yes. discern what goes on behind yes. closed doors so Thank they can you. help these children, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes. Give them the ability to guide their yes. students in understanding and compassion, Lord. Mm -hmm. Give them the strength and resilience so that they can yes. cope with the challenges that they face daily to maintain their passion for teaching. Yes. Lord, mm -hmm. give them the support yes. and encourage them. Bring them a strong support system from godly colleagues, godly administration, yes. godly family members. Yes. Give them the gift of encouragement to help the kids that need it, that really mm -hmm. need that encouragement, Lord. Lord, inspire these teachers, God. Inspire them that they may find the joy 
faith and the creativity that you put in their hearts so that they could enjoy teaching, that sparking that curiosity in children so that they would love to learn. Lord, give them the health. Give them the well-being for their physical, their emotional, their mental health, especially during these stressful times, Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, keep them safe from any yes. wrongdoing, yes. from any demonic attacks against oh, our God. schools, yeah. against yes. our children. Protect yes. them. Protect our children in the name of Jesus. Yes, right now, I just prayed over Thank every you. child yes, in public Lord. school, every child uh -huh. in Christian school, every child in children's uh, daycare, any child, Father, in any um, area where anyone has an assault plan or anything against these children right now protect them send the your angels in the jesus. mighty mighty yes, name of lord. jesus and protect the teachers the father protect go. those teachers that are willing to die for our children right now in the name of jesus and we bless you teachers we bless yes. you in the name of jesus yes, yes. So no more violence in yes. the schools yes no more father. violence in our schools and then you would remove anyone Can't who's causing yes. this yes. violence god. father god we ask that the word of god yes. the bible is taught in these schools. Oh, These children Jesus. need that more than anything, more than all yes. education. And Father, even Abraham Lincoln in that day, they learned to read mm -hmm. from the Bible and they were brilliant yes. because they had your wisdom, Father mm -hmm. God. So we're just yes. calling that forth and, and ask you to remove anybody who has tried to yes. remove the mm -hmm. patriotism and the Bible from yes. our schools. And I just want to In pray Jesus for those lost kids that, that do this, the lost kids that go up against and try to do this, Lord, because I know your heart's for them too, Lord, that you love them. I just pray that wherever they are right now, I pray that they're watching this, that they mm -hmm. see this, and that even if they had something planned and, and their mind was telling them the enemy was coming against them in their mind and bombarding them with ideas of evil, of things to do that you would mm -hmm. never even think before. Yeah. I want you to recognize that that is not God. That That's is not God. you. That that is in a demonic attack that has come to send sent to you to kill still and destroy not only from you to kill still and destroy your family those children their families this is a ripple effect this is the enemy's plan and you will not be a weapon of the enemy i break That's that right. free right yeah. now in the name now. of jesus i yes. call yes. your yes. eyes to jesus. open up in the name of jesus yes. i call that plan yes. dead and void in yes. the name of jesus yes. it will yes. not come to pass mm -hmm. right Thank now you. in the name of jesus Thank you are you. called you are anointed you're appointed yes. there is a plan and there's a there's a purpose for your life and the enemy's trying to steal it you were born for something greater than this this is not your this is not the only thing you're going to do with your life god has great plans for your life mm -hmm. Don't believe what the enemy has told you. Repent right now. Say, Lord, forgive me. Ask him to come into your heart. He will take away all that pain and that suffering that you've allowed your heart to be open mm -hmm. to. It's the enemy. The person who's telling you to do this, he wants you to kill yourself after you've done it. He's mm -hmm. not for you. He's not on your side. He's against you. Yeah, the one exactly. who is for you wants you to just repent right now. He will come in your life. He will bring peace that surpasses all understanding. He will bring you a greater love than you've ever felt in your life. And your life is going to be turned around. I believe it in the name of Jesus, and I decree it over you. Amen. Jesus. And we Amen. pray for the teachers also, God, yes. that you encourage them. There's many walking away yes. and quitting because of the lack of discipline in the I home, know. because yeah. the kids are so bad. But so Lord, bad. let them be yes. your love from heaven. Mm -hmm. Let them be your boldness from heaven. Yes. Let them be one that they can count on because they've not been yes. able to Jesus. count on anybody else. Father, mm -hmm. those teachers that want to walk away that are not supposed to, <sighs> but yes. they're just so discouraged and they're so fed up with the disrespect <clears throat> and the dishonor and the things that are happening in our our world today yes. and the laws and everything that's being put into place that they can't touch a child and which I don't want them beating kids either mm -hmm. but I mean Lord just encourage yes. them today those yes. that are not supposed to go don't let them go Lord let them that's be right. there for those oh, kids yes. and let them be kind let them yes. be full of love mm -hmm. to help and teach these kids that it's really truth out there people can love and people can encourage mm -hmm. you and bless you and that's praise right. those yes. kids that never get praise anywhere yes. else in the mighty name of Jesus yes. I agree in Jesus yes. name in amen Jesus God name. really has a heart for these teachers yes they go through so much and yeah. there, so many of them are willing to die for our children yeah. and to to do yeah. this for our children and That's so right. it, it's an honor to us to be called to pray for them i believe mm -hmm. oh yeah you know I, i'm so grateful and I'm just grateful for them. Even though I homeschool, I'm grateful for them. That's right. <laughs> yes. yes, we need teachers. Mm -hmm. And you know, yes. we've had a school teacher that uh, uh, God's view blesses her so big time. And uh, she has uh, 
I have spoken to her and she gives into God's view. Oh, praise God. And uh, I am grateful for you, Linda. You know what state you're in. And every time we pray for the teachers right now, you just kept coming to my heart. Aww. And we're so grateful that you help meet this yes. ministry's needs. Yes. And we pray right now that God meets every need, whether it's physical, whether it's financial, yeah. mm -hmm. whether it's yes. um, uh, mental, yes, whether it's a relationship, Lord. whatever you need, mm -hmm. because you meet these needs that yours is met. And we're so grateful and we pray that as you go each day into your job yeah. and the challenges that you face mm -hmm. that God is with you yeah. that that you're doing a good work and yeah. God's proud of you and I thank you that we need godly mm -hmm. women and men yes. mm -hmm. in the schools yes, and so God bless mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and as we prayed everything I just put yeah. your name in there yeah. in Jesus Amen. name Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. things, no. I, I, you know, what I was thinking of was um, that there's several people out there who are afraid of the future of America. Mm -hmm. You are just so worried. You think the end is coming. And, you know, I just want to assure you, I think all we girls are, are in, in unity about that, that we are not now living in the book of revelations everything is not going to go haywire for believers it's god has good things for us and i truly believe that because of these good things people will see the goodness of god that that uh god is going to raise up believers and there's going to be a tremendous harvest of souls around the whole world. So now is the time that people are going to come in and receive Jesus. Mm -hmm. And what a glorious time it's going to be. We never look at what's happening. we got to look to heaven. That's Always. Right. That's right. And we never listen to outside sources because they're wrong. Right. And like people saying right now, uh, Jesus coming next week, gets to look at the sign, look at everything that's happening. No. I mean, you're, you don't listen to it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not time right now. It's not time. You'll no. see. You'll see. God soon. wants to turn your sorrow into joy. <clears throat> and just like Charlene said, oh my it's goodness. If you believe in Jesus Christ and He is your Lord and Savior, I don't care what's going around you. I don't care if it's a depression, a recession, or whatever. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. got you in the palm of your yeah. hand. That's right. You That's don't right. have to worry. So you're being attacked with lies. Heaven isn't shaken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just That's people right. down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And That's right. You got some yeah. Trust oh, okay. you go, you go Only ahead. believe yeah. and know you're going to win. That's Amen. right. That's right. Because God's on your side. Yeah. 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 You know, the Lord was really prompting me to say these things is that as as I'm hearing what the Lord is bringing today is that the Lord is wanting to remind us to pray, to keep praying what we just talked about today to be to be in prayer meetings. You know, the prayer meetings are the least. Um, I said it wrong. The least, least attended, okay. the least, least attended. And so we're not doing enough prayer as we gather, wherever we're gathering, but we need to get involved. See, the church is the ecclesia. That's the governing body. Mm -hmm. And so we're the governing body. Mm -hmm. It's God's standard in the earth. Just like what Lana was saying, what we're hearing today, mm -hmm. it's God's standards. It's, it's, it's His morality, it's His ways, and so many Christians don't even know what that means. They're not mm -hmm. doing it. They're mm -hmm. not praying. They're not standing. Mm -hmm. They're not going to these meetings. They don't know what's going on in the government, the laws. Yeah. The problem is the voting. laws. Yeah, we, we don't right. want to go into political stuff. Right, right, no, right. No political right. Stuff. Yeah. But we're to, be, we're, yeah. we're to be attending these meetings, like we're talking about the schools mm -hmm. and the children. We need to know what's going on yeah. because we can't have our heads yeah. in the sand. Yeah, and God we wants us know. all praying. Yeah. Yes. What, what, what she's saying That's basically right. is, is let God mm -hmm. uh, just minister you to rise up and start yes. praying. You know, right. I mean, prayer, it says pray without ceasing. That's Follow right. Mm -hmm. And so God is so faithful in that. He 
so faithful. Yes. I get, you know, this show mm -hmm. went so quick. I, I, I know he's going to hold that I know. couple mm -hmm. minutes up. Um, but, well, then know, pray real we quick go, yeah. for the spirit of death, God said. The oh, okay. Well, we just rebuke the spirit of death yes. right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. We take it off yes. you because there's death and there's life. Mm -hmm. There's devil yes. and there's yes. God. Yes. And the devil ha cannot win. We Thank take you, authority Jesus. over the spirit of death right now. Mm -hmm. And that you may be not just spiritual. Jesus. That may be somebody physically yes. uh, trying to, yes. you know, uh, the enemy trying to take them off this earth mm -hmm. that they're not supposed to go. And we just come against that too. We say you yes. will live and not die Jesus. and declare the works of yeah. God. Thank you. And Thank you know, you, for those right now that... Uh, gosh, we, I'm going to have to hurry. I don't know if I have time to tell, tell the story, but if we, we don't, we just don't. But um, the thing is, is, is many of you, God says, um, a lot of times we don't, we, we just think, God, are you really there? Is, are, are you really knowing what I'm going through? Mm -hmm. And I give this story a lot because my mussy, she would come every year. I'm going to tell this really quick. And she would always be sad to go. So one day when I was taking her to the airport, she was uh, picked up this little silver thing off of the ground, which airports are dirty and she would never do that she put it in her pocket she's on the plane she's crying she kind of you know she just was reminiscing of you know your muzzy she, was your mom muzzy was my mom mm -hmm. and so i um aka mom and uh, i called her muzzy all my life m-u-z-z-y and so uh she was just sad and she remembered which was the holy spirit reminder her, get in her pocket and this is what she pulled out Aww, and i have happened. saved this dog tag Forever she gave it to me before she died because she had found it years ago when she'd come. And God is my witness, M-U-Z-Z-Y. Oh. M-U-Z-Z-Y. And that's what, God knows Aww. exactly where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He knows your heart. He knows that. your hurt. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it just, it was like, wow. Because mm -hmm. out of everything in the world, come on, yeah. how that's could crazy. that be? Yeah. How could God. that be? And that's God. And that's the God that, that loves you. That's yeah. the God that's got your back. That's the God that's got all of our backs. And if you don't mm -hmm. know Jesus today, Ask him into your heart. Mm -hmm. Let him be the Lord of your life. Say, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. Mm -hmm. Be the Lord of my life. These women say that if I call on the name of the Lord, I will be saved. And you shall be. It's not maybe kind of, sort of. Jesus wants you today. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Don't wait to clean up. There's so many that do that. And they wait and they don't get saved because they don't think they're worthy enough. But the blood makes you worthy. You know, sin is sin. Everybody has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But just receive him today you know and if you asked him in to forgive you of your sins and to do all then ask jesus to baptize you in the holy spirit yeah, and fire right. because john came and baptized with water and he said one whose sandals i'm not even worthy to untie or to wear i mean my goodness he's going to baptize you with the holy spirit and fire i did water and um, wow what the heck was that anyways it wasn't thunder <laughs> but anyways he loves you he mm -hmm. loves you so much. And if you said that prayer, call the prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. Yes. Or somebody, tell somebody. Mm -hmm. Because now this is your new birthday. Mm -hmm. And you are born again. And in, in heaven, all heaven is rejoicing when one sinner comes mm -hmm. to the Lord. When one receives mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. And now every year on this day, you're going to have a big party up in heaven. They're going to be saying, it's your mm -hmm. birthday. Mm -hmm. It's your born again birthday. They'll have your favorite colors. And probably whoever went on before mm -hmm. you, moms, dads, sisters, brothers, are going to be celebrating mm -hmm. with you because they're so That's happy right. that yes. one day you will reunite with them. Who glory yes, to God. Go to our website. Please help us today. Keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. You can get this powerful anointing oil. <laughs> anointing oil is so good. It's so, so good. We have a spray version. We have some paintings there. And we have some other things that are going to be really exciting that we're going to offer you very soon. And so we love you. Jesus loves you more. It's only goodbye for today. God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ, welcome to God's View.